Dr. Dr. Divas. Yeah, that's how I Welcome to Dr. Divas. We are here once again talking about today's show is going to be a good one. We're, yes, we're not that, not that any of them aren't good ones, but we are the Dr. Divas and with you today, um, and Dr. Pamela, we have Dr. Rhonda and Dr. Sony. Hola. Hola. (laughs) (laughs) So we are today talking about intimacy, infidelity, and instinct. Hmm. Ooh, the the three eyes. The three eyes. I like that. Yes. Yes. So we are online. If you guys want to follow us online, you can go to our website. It's www.drdivashow.com. And from there, you can find our Facebook page and our Twitter page. On Twitter, we are at Dr. Underscore Divas. That's D-R underscore Divas. And at Facebook, we're just backslash D-O-C-T-O-R Divas. And call us. We want to hear from you. Do you know anything about intimacy? Do you know anything about infidelity? Or... Do you have some instinct? Do you listen to it? Mm. <laughs> we want to know. You can call us at 678-701-3738. That's 678-701-3738. All That's right. my radio yeah. voice. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. Brilliant. Yes. We are large and in charge of Dr. Diva's show. <laughs> call us. Call, call us. me quick. Yes. So we are, um, you know, and actually before we got on, Rhonda was telling me something. I thought, wow, you know, we definitely got to talk about this with Roy. Roy Jones Jr. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> no, not our producer, but boxer Roy Jones Jr. Earlier this month, his mistress, um, which is she's also a boxer. Her um, her name is Stacy Louise Riel, <laughs> which is putting him on blast. Yes. Putting him on blast. <laughs> well, hey, it's out cheating. there, but she put him on blast. <laughs> you better know she it. She actually um, posted nude pictures of him. Posted his telephone number. Oh wow! Wow. What's Posted. It, where that at? Where's that? Uh, it's, the oh, oh, oh no! There's an Instagram page she built, oh, so I'm not oh. sure if it's still active. See, at under uh, at Roy underscore Winky underscore <laughs> Ainty <laughs> underscore Right. Yes, yes. And um, she also posted pictures of them in bed together. Oh wow! All because he would not leave his wife. Wow. For her. What I'm well, laughing at is the fact that she actually thought he was going to leave his wife. <laughs> <laughs> you know. They no, never the do. Hope, they that's never always do. The hope. That's but always the know, hope. What blows my mind is that you, you're with a wife, you have a wife, but you're taking selfies in bed. I mean, I guess they're that that, is stupid. You know, I mean, I guess they're that vulnerable. Or sending her pictures of your privacy area. It must area. have been good. It must <laughs> have been good. your privacy area. <laughs> Miss the president. No, I think she named it on there, Winky. <laughs> That's right. But you know That's what? Right. It's like there. I, I think about it all the time. How vulnerable, and and I can only speak from a female male perspective, but how vulnerable men make themselves in relationships. I could. I could, you know, they they'll be willing not to use a condom. They don't know if I'm on birth control. Right. Wow. I could turn up. I can get pregnant on purpose. Right. Wow. A lot of women do. I mean, this is this is comes from back biblical days. I right. Mean, that people are just stupid when it comes to this stuff. <laughs> like you should never trust your side chick. Right. You know, I mean, we've seen the celebrity yeah, examples. Oh, producer that's right. Roy said you should Ch never have that's a right. We're gonna producer. get to that. In a We're second. gonna get to that, but that's yes. Yes, but you're right. But I mean look, Donald Sterling. Right. Yes. He trusted you know, her, yep. Yeah. You, you know, you have a side chick. You gotta Why watch are you it. Trusting, <laughs> and you have money. Right. right. When She's you have cheating. money, you trust no one. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> no. And they're cheating. I mean, yes. but celebrity cheaters. I mean, I think in Hollywood they just go it's really from rampant, person to person. Yes. And There's ew. some kind of culture with and that, and it's yeah. okay. Yeah. Ew. Yeah, but it's 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 gross. It's very gross. <laughs> it is gross. Well, we all we are we're all at the Emmys and we've all slept with each other. <laughs> Right. Very, very strange I can't even feeling, look at right? My gynecologist in the grocery store. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> he seemed too much. That's right. Right. So, right. That's Let right. alone. Yeah. Let alone somebody that I have had a, a illegal, uncarnal relationship with. <laughs> but people are really immune to that. It's just you know, it is what it is. I guess once you cross a certain line. It's like anything goes. So. You know, I'm I'm serious. Like I will I'm letting you guys know. Here's Sony's confession. Mm. <laughs> I wish we had the confession music. But um the violin like the church violin. Just music. imagine. But my confession is if I'm going to cheat, if I ever got a thought of cheating, it would be okay because it would be with Denzel. So <laughs> cheating <laughs> is wrong unless it really it's is. with Denzel. <laughs> <laughs> then it's right. Then it's it can't be right. any more writer. Right. So, right. Any more writer. And I think my husband should take comfort in knowing that that <laughs> he should be proud if I cheated with this girl. <laughs> you could you could tweet that. You might so, get some private uh, bankroll going on. He should be all right with that. Yeah. All right with that. Yeah. Well, what's interesting is that I you know and I, one of the one of the people that I have dated in the past who actually turned out to be married, I always wonder why is he so laid back? Because he always used to say, "I would love hmm. to see you know another man pleasing my woman." Wow, I'd be okay with that. And so, is it you know? There's this thing. Is it really acceptable, or is it just because you're doing what you're doing? You know, are are people just assuming that people are going to cheat? Well, statistically, <laughs> statistically, right? You are more likely. Um, to according to Psychology Today, between um, 40 and 76 percent of people in a relationship. Let me make sure I'm getting this right. Um, OK, the probability of someone cheating during the course of a relationship varies between 40 and 76 percent. That's pretty so, high. Man. Uh, yeah. So, you know, 40 and 76 percent. That means that on the low end, you're 40 percent <laughs> likely if you're in a relationship, the chances that you will get cheated on. Wow. Is 40 percent. 
And I think too, you know, it's the thing with sex. Um, I think it's very, it's no longer as taboo as it used to be. So I think people are open, more open, yes, free about experimentation, about changing partners. They have no issue, you know, with sleeping with this person this week. I slept with that person the next week. And for me, it's like, Oh my gosh, that's really gross because you're so <laughs> now you soul tying, you're you're tying in a lot of body fluids too, you know. So Ooh, there's a lot to ew. think about. <laughs> I, that that scares me to there. there. <laughs> body I, fluid. Uh, hey, it goes with it, right? <laughs> I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean to gross everybody out. Sorry, but it's the truth. But it's it's the truth. truth. I it mean, is. it's true. I yeah. mean, people have to realize everything that's being in that's involved in cheating. Yeah. It's but yeah. you guys, you ladies, you do realize that in, in just the very nature of our conversation, we're sounding like old farts. We're <laughs> sounding like people who are just not with it because, you know, what's with it right now is you see what's going on on TV. Right. And, you know, is it that we're just out of touch or is, you know, I mean, where is the whole integrity when it comes to relationship? Maybe there's a new integrity, you know, I think I, there's a new one. And and yes, we are <laughs> sounding more like you know, old farts, but I'm proud of that. <laughs> that Me too. I, yes. That's one thing that I am not going to compromise on. Me I don't either. care how things are redefined. Me either. That right. is something that if it doesn't make you feel good, then I don't care what society says. Right. I don't care how many people cheat or how many celebrities do it. If you're not happy because of it, don't do it. Right. And and be okay with being honest with that person. I mean, if it's not happening between you two, that's my motto, you know, I, I tell my husband all the time, which I would probably never fall out of love with him because he's the greatest guy ever. <laughs> but he's li- he's wow, he's listening. <laughs> How you doing, Mr. Anderson? <laughs> But my thing is, I want to, I'm going to be big enough to tell you that, man, it's time for me to move on. This is not working. Although he says, I'm going to kill you if you do that. So you're not going to get to go anywhere. But, <laughs> but just be big enough and to, to say that, you know, this is no longer working. Again, my disclaimer is unless it's Denzel, then you should be proud of that. <laughs> be proud of that, baby. If you're listening That's and right. Dr. Sony and I come to you and I say, sorry, sweetheart. Denzel. Denzel. Yeah. Give me a high five, boo. Well, you know, we all have our list. <laughs> we have a list. We all have our <laughs> list of celebrities. The celebrity clause. That's right. The celebrity <laughs> clause. Everybody's okay with that. <laughs> so what's the line though? What's what's cheating and what's not cheating? So if we, you know, some people say, well, if you kiss somebody else, it's not really cheating. It's not cheating unless it's intercourse. It's well, emotional. I don't know. Is it kissing? Is it what about thoughts? Right. You know, like where does it start? Well, I, I think it starts with being lustful. To, then that's my opinion, mm-hmm. you know, because I, I, we see great looking people all the time. I myself, I've seen some attractive men, but after I see him walk by, it ends there. Right. I think there has to be an end because once you start lusting after the person, you want to see him again. You're still lusting. You see him again. You know, there has to be some kind of boundary. And I think that you having these thoughts about somebody else in your head while you're at home with your spouse or boyfriend. I just think that it starts there. And our minds are very powerful. Yeah, they are very powerful. Did and you, it, while you were talking, I was thinking about Denzel. <laughs> <laughs> but we have to be mindful about our minds. That's all I'm going to say, because it's a very powerful thing. Your mind has the power to make you feel like, man, what I have right now is not working. So I'm lusting after this person. So I'm going to go after that person because what I have right now is not as attractive. So if your husband is lusting after another woman, that's it for me. Okay. Well, how do you know he's lusting? I mean, well, he's not going to tell you what's on his mind. <laughs> well, I'm like, saying like hey, for baby, myself. I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing Halle Berry. Right <laughs> well, now. no, I, you wouldn't. Well, you wouldn't know it. But for me, you know, I feel like if I have a guy that I have to keep seeing or want to keep seeing after that, is there's something wrong with that for mm-hmm. me? You know, so. I don't know. I, I um. I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. It's okay to disagree. No, I'm not saying I disagree. (laughs) I'm saying that I'm processing that Uh because I'm married and I love my husband, but I can't sit here and say that I have never, ever thought about anybody else. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that. I'm saying the thought of keeping the thought alive. Uh Uh-huh. I've been, right. Right. Oh, I see what you're saying. We're going to, beyond the, to the that. point where you're yes. like, you're not him. So or I you're stalking the guy him. because you know he's going to be at the gym at oh, 10 o'clock. Crazy. <sighs> you're there looking. That's a lot. Oh, that's that's a whole other. That. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, that's my personal. 
<laughs> oh, I'm man. sorry, Dwayne that's the Dr. Rock Johnson. Doctor, <laughs> that's Dr. Anderson's personal personal. I'm just saying because when the Rock lifts that restraining order, I am right back there, <laughs> man. I'm right back there. So, oh god. So you may have your 90 days of Sony free. <laughs> Enjoy it, man. <laughs> Enjoy it. Well, you know, oh my god. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What's interesting though is that women and men see infidelity differently in general mm, so yeah. i believe um, that you know there's an article in newsweek that talks about that and it says that men find actual intercourse a lot more offensive than women do women are actually a little bit more accepting of that they get women get mad when there's emotions involved yeah and the man falls in love and it turns into some kind of actual relationship hmm. but women are more willing to forgive if it's just intercourse and it's interesting they go all the way back to evolution and they talk about how men get so upset with the intercourse part because it's hard to say if they are the father of a child it's you know the, yeah. the woman you're messing can, with my property uh, yeah anybody could be the father so they <laughs> right. are very possessive when it comes to sexual relations right. women on the other hand need somebody to help them raise that child so that's a more intimacy thing so if the man mm. is I see. violating that intimacy then she is at more at risk of being alone hmm. i can see that interesting Plus when women with women <clears throat> i could i probably would be more upset with my husband if he said that hey I love this woman. I, I, I would yeah. be more quick to forgive if he said it was a one night stand. We had right. sex and it's over because you can end that. Right. Mm -hmm. But the love thing is not so hard to end. Right. You know, the love thing, I know that's not going to stop. Even right. if he says, I'm not seeing her anymore. If you love them, yes, you will. You're yeah, going to find right. a way. That's true. But a one night stand, you'll be like, it happened. I got drunk. I mean, I Cause, and you just, you, it's just historic. You know, men, their ties to sex is not the same for women. Right. Men do it because, hey, this is what I like. This can. is what we're wired to do. This is what we think about all day, every day. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. well, you know what? I, all I know is that uh, Mr. Mr. Diva, <laughs> I don't care what it is. Don't tell me you've been cheating. I got a razor blade in my mouth with and, your and name two other Doctor Divas. You know, Come over there. We'll be there. I we got be folk. There. I got peeps. That's right. She got peeps in the street. So we're gonna All talk right. more about cheating, infidelity indiscretions instincts and all of those and eyes. all those eyes yes Just in insurrection and nasty <laughs> <laughs> dr diva show will be right we'll back, back. <laughs> special event maybe a custom birthday cake i know it's your wedding day and you want a cake that will stimulate your taste buds and capture and create the memories for that special day well sweet destination should be your choice let master sweet designer montevia gamble create a unique and delicious cake for your special occasion but that's not all sweet destination also creates other desserts from cheesecakes homemade fudge brownies cookies pies cake pops cupcakes, and just about anything that you can think of. So check them out at SweetDestinations.com or on Facebook under Sweet Destinations. Remember, the greatest conversations take place on the road to the sweetest destinations of the human mind. So let's do more than business. Let's make memorable moments. We are Sweet Destinations. Everyone needs a way to add gold to their financial portfolio. Carrot Bars International makes gold affordable to the masses with the FreeGoldPlan.com. Get gold in 24 karat 999.9% .9 pure gold bullion in small affordable weights. Save your money in gold and even get paid to share with others how to do the same. No broker fees, no setup fees, and with referrals, your gold can be free. Go to the FreeGoldPlan.com. That's the FreeGoldPlan.com now. What's my girlfriend doing in your five? Wow. Um, you don't give another man's girl a foot massage, and you definitely don't put her in your five. Okay, you're being really paranoid. I should take that. Who's in your fave five? 
Introducing my faves from T-Mobile with any network calling. Unlimited calls to your five favorite people on any network. T-Mobile, stick together. Tap Out Studios of Hollywood is one of Atlanta's newest visual and performing art centers designed for you to perfect your creativity. Our 3,000 square foot event space includes a full bar, VIP section, movie screen, and two stages. Take advantage of our Spring Fling package deal for new and existing clients. Save over 40% when you rent our venue for $700 for events with more than 100 people. For booking information, contact Kendra at 404-578-1454. Located less than a half a mile off of I-20 off Fulton Industrial, we are Tap Out Studios of Hollywood, 620 Interchange Drive. Tap Out Studios of Hollywood, inspiring creativity, changing lives, and making dreams come true. Do you need a commercial spot for your concert or event? How about your football homecoming or classic? Well, your search is over. Hi, this is Roy Evans of the Jericho Broadcast Networks, and I want to tell you about Urban Voices at ConcertPromo.com. Urban Voices is one of the premier voice imaging firms in the country. Their teams of veterans know how to get your message across with the hottest flavor. They've worked on some of the biggest events in urban America and can be heard in over 60 radio markets across the country. So from your new product launch to your college homecoming, there's only one place to go if you want to stay ahead of the competition. That's Urban Voices at ConcertPromo.com. Urban Voices at ConcertPromo.com is one of the sources that helps power the Jericho Broadcast Networks. Dr. Diva Show. We're talking Dr. about Divas. intimacy, infidelity, and an instinct. Call us up. Our number is 678-701-3738. That's 678-701-3738. Give us your stories, your anecdotes, love your, to hear them. your rants. Were you cheated on? Are you the cheater? Are you the cheater? <laughs> Do you like it? What y'all did? <laughs> I want to know everything. Thing. Um, visit our website, drdivashow.com. We're on Facebook, backslash Dr. Divas. Spell that out, please. D O C T O R. That's how you spell doctor. There's no E R in doctor. And then on Twitter, at Dr. D R underscore Divas. So hit us up. Make sure you call us. We want to hear from you. Yes. We Don't you. be we afraid. Love we love you. We won't cheat on Call our in. callers. That's with right. You. We love you. You have first place in our lives. So we're so talking funny. about cheating. We're going to drop some knowledge on y'all about cheating. Yeah. Um, because there is some science behind this. Is it natural? Yes. There is it is. not natural? Because some people say that, you know, especially for men, that it is a natural thing for men to mo- want more than one woman. Like that is a natural instinct. Mm. But really, it should be natural for us to want more than one man. <laughs> right. We're the ones that have the kids. And That's so right. some kids are just bad. So it's natural <laughs> for us to want more than one man until we get the kids right. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> takes a village. <laughs> a village. <Literally. laughs> to produce the right child that you want to keep. Especially these days. <laughs> Well, you know, difficult. There's, <laughs> there's a professor um, in um, and her name actually is Dr. Pamela, but she's a different Dr. Pamela. Oh. She's uh, Pamela Reagan. And she actually had a, this was spurred by a conversation she had with her class. And they, it was about a class on close, close relationships. And she said, looks like oh, we got a call. On. We Let's have a caller. A call. Caller, you say what? <laughs> Hello, Dr. Divas. Hi. Calling in for the Dr. Diva show. All You're right. right here. You landed at the Dr. Diva show. Yes. Hey, my opinion is, I just want to say, you know, on cheating, just, you know, don't do it. Amen. 
don't do that. Thank should be you. on a t-shirt. That's right. <laughs> Instead of just do it like Nike, don't do it. Don't Hashtag. do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I All right. Like I love that, that advice. I, I love like it. that. Well, thank you for your call. Don't do it. Don't do it. I think that's what we're going to subtitle this show. That's there you right. go. There don't, you go. Hashtag don't, don't do it. Do it. <laughs> I like that. I like that too. Well, thank you so much, caller. We appreciate you for listening. Oh, she's gone. Oh, she's gone. Okay. okay. Well, thank well, you. Shout out to the caller. Oh, we didn't, we didn't okay. get their name. We, it. we didn't get your name, but whoever you are, you're we love special. you. That's right. <laughs> But is is you know so she says caller says don't do it but if it's natural what's the answer to that question is it natural or is it something that we can resist doing and according to Dr. Pamela Reagan um, it depends on what you mean by natural so she says if you mean socially you know if by natural do we mean socially acceptable then the answer is no cheating is not socially acceptable right, right? Yeah. Um, if by natural does she mean is it commonly practiced. Well, um, the yeah. answer to that, well, depending <laughs> on where you are is no, depending on where you are. Yeah. Um, you know, but the statistics you gave, I don't know, maybe we can argue that it is kind of commonly practiced, but it's definitely not something that's uh, a part of our success. Yeah, right. it's right. not overt. It's not something we're right. just out there parading. Um, and then if by natural, we mean a product of our evolutionary heritage, the answer, according to Dr. Pamela Reagan, is maybe. I say maybe too, because a lot of times people go by what they've seen as an example. So if I lived in a household where my father cheated on my mom and I think that that's okay, then guess what? I'm probably going to grow up thinking that's okay. I'm going to treat my spouse that way. So it's going to be your natural inclination. Right. I think so. But you know, you have to have a mind to say, I'm going to stop the curse of that. But physiology wise, and I'm thinking natural as far as your body mm -hmm. and the, the whole physiology and makeup of yourself. Is it unnatural because you have the feelings? And so if it was unnatural, the feelings wouldn't be there. The feelings to want to be with someone, love and belonging. I mean, that's Maslow's hierarchy of need. Right. Belonging is the basic need. And so is it unnatural to want to belong to a lot of different people? <laughs> well, and, <laughs> and you know, and here, and I'll just read straight from this. It's, you know, it says it remains possible that infidelity may have served an adaptive purpose in the ancestral environment, at least for some individuals on some occasions. Maybe some cheaters enhance their chances of personal survival by receiving resources such as food, protection, and support from their additional sexual partners. I question was that cheating or was this a just oh, a part cheating. of, or was it something that was just an agreement? Well, then that begs the question of, um, are you um, agreeable to it? I mean, what agreement? <laughs> but, you know, when you said that, you know, the agreement, I go back to think about an article I read. It's been some years ago that Essence published called Women Having Sponsors. And by a sponsor, you, you have sex with this person, you fly the globe, you fly around the globe with this person, they take care of your expenses, and that's it. There's like no relationship. Yep. Hmm. So it's out there. That That is really happening. And I'm talking about on a Fortune 500 level, because these women, they're flying on private jets. They live in the best of the best town home communities, condos, you know, in upscale New York. But are they cheating? These These sponsors are married. Okay. So I right. call it cheating. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess if you're married and you're with someone, it's, it's cheating. But he's the cheater. Does that make the other woman the cheater? No. And I, I, this is my personal opinion. This is Dr. Sony. I don't think the other woman is a cheater because the person who made the vow to me, the mm -hmm. other woman didn't make the vow to me. Right. She has no loyalty to me. She has no ties to me. The person who made the vow to me who said I do is mm -hmm. the cheater. The other person is a skank. <laughs> <laughs> so She's a how. <laughs> Talk to somebody. A whoremonger. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right. New so, terminology. Well, it's not I, new terminology. Right. Them right. hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness. 
yes. <laughs> so oh my gosh. that's the word on that. I All agree right. with Dr. Sony that, you know, if it's my situation, the cheater is my husband. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree with her. Yeah. So what if you're not married? I'm not married. So is does cheating not apply to me and my situations uh, if I were to dating? Devi- I think you have to define. There's definition in the relationship. Yeah. So some communication has to take place. Mm-hmm. So Dr. Pam, if you were flying the globe with all these sponsors, <laughs> you know, uh, you, you have to tell them, hey, this is what it is. I date around. This is what it is. I get around. So I have to be very upfront. With, That's right. With who I'm dating. We, I, we are o, I'm OPP, other okay. people's property. Got to put that O-P-P. out there. Are you OPP. Down with OPP. That's right. right. <laughs> That's what you got to tell them, Dr. Pam. I'm you down with boy, OPP. We need that. We need that song. <laughs> that, and that's it. And that is definition. I think as long as you have a, um, a mutual understanding, like if you're with the guy, and you just both of you decide that you're in a monogamous relationship mm-hmm. and if that's he's right. not monogamous then and he's that's cheating, cheating right that's you know, right he went against the the agreement that you have and right. so it's the same thing if i have an agreement that you know i'm going to give you ten dollars to spend and um <laughs> our agreement is that you're only going to spend five of that if you spent more than that then you have cheated on my money that's and messing right with that's my true. money is like messing with my emotions that is that's true. right. That's true. Don't mess with so the money. So you would be considered a thief if you stole something that didn't belong to you. That's what you're saying. So yeah, I mean, I think it all comes mm-hmm. from the same. Place. So it doesn't matter if you're married or if you're in a relationship. The agreement is the agreement. Whatever it is, you guys have agreed upon. And some people will disagree with that. Some people right. will say some that will that's that. not under any kind of. You didn't make any vows, you know. It, it, so it's it's the commitment shouldn't be the same. Right. But that's the problem with, you know, redefining marriage. Um, it's the vows. And relationships. That, yes. It's because no matter what relationship you have, if you have an agreement, that should be enough. Right. I mean, you know, business I mean? in right. business in, in business, any business, arena. If, yeah. Your word should be. Which is why you sign a signature card when you're opening a bank account or anything. <laughs> you got to get a mortgage. Right. They're saying this is your word. This is our commitment together. And just like a bank mm-hmm. or a mortgage company, if you <clears throat> renege on that commitment, mm-hmm. they're going to foreclose on you. Right. right. So if you renege on my commitment of our vows, you're going to get foreclosed. I'm feeling gangster today. <laughs> you are. Uh, that was last week too, man. animosity going yeah. on over there. Gangster over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talk to Dr. Sony Wood. I will bust a cap. What? Ice Cube over here. (laughs) RT over there. Hardcore. Dr. Dre. Who who is it? (laughs) But you know what? The women are becoming much more hardcore when it when it comes to relationships and dating. It's like you know, there was a time where our mothers, fathers, generation, and before that was silent. It was like you know what? Cheating happened, Mm -hmm. and it's everybody knows about it, but we're not talking about it. We're dealing with it. And now, according to um, a lot of new research is talking about women are actually beginning to cheat more than their husband these I days. I can believe it. And I, I love it. I don't. I can, <laughs> when I say that out loud, I'm You sorry. said it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's um, the um, U.S. National Opinion Research Center revealed that the percentage of wives having affairs has risen almost 40% during the last wow. two decades. Um, and men are still more likely to cheat, but women are at a fast second. I mean, they are, the gender gap is right. closing. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know what? <clears throat> women are getting gangsta. They're it. getting in the game. Yeah. You know, well, they've been cheated on because a lot of times people stay in these relationships and it's the tit for tat mentality. Right. I'm just and I think women are becoming, suffer. yes, I'm going to make him suffer like, well, I'm that's suffering. what's wrong with men. It's too much titting. That's right. And tatting. <laughs> that's what got y'all <laughs> in this problem is the tit. <laughs> so, well, that's well right. just we, we, you know, we're going to go to commercials shortly. So let me just really quickly give you five reasons why women have been cheating on their husbands. Top five reasons. Mm. My husband was abusive. Mm. I see that. Um, am I on number one? Okay. Yeah. My husband was abusive. We began to resent each other. Mm. I was bored and unhappy. Wow. My husband was a workaholic. Mm. Um, and my husband was unfaithful first. We th- we tend to think that's the one. Right. But there's other reasons. And now that women are able to be more independent and work, there's there's less of a fear to go out there and get what they Whatever want. they missing. So we're going to talk when about we come that. Back, yes. A couple of those reasons I need to go over. Okay. okay. Let's Dr. Go over that. Diva show. Um, call us um, when we get back. 678-701-3738.
Dr. <laughs> Welcome no, back to funny. Dr. Divas. Um, we are online, drdivashow.com. You can find all of our other contact information on there, but we do want you to call. Give us a call. Let us know what you think. Are you down with OPP? Our number is 678-701-3738. That's right. Write it down. 678-701-3738. So what we were talking about before the break were, were reasons why women are cheating on their husbands. And um, that first reason was my husband um, was abusive. And to me, I'd be kind of scared if my husband was I abusive. I probably would leave I him. I can't see. I can't stay. My husband is abusive, so I'm going to cheat. Right. You're going to be right. I'm down even worse. That, yeah. Yeah. That's I'll not be gonna trying to get up out of there. No, it's not. No, right. no, 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 no. So it's I'm probably going to get you hurt a little bit more. Yeah. yeah he's so going to break I, the other jaw. Yeah. That's what I was saying before the break is that that first point, like because he's abusive, you need to get out of the relationship. That's right. Yeah. You need to get not out of that one. Cheat is going to get you more danger. Yes. And he's going to make you eat the cake. Anime. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Don't cheat All on day, man. right? If he beating on you, that's do not right. cheat. Do not be out. Yes, be that's out. how you end up in a ditch. Right. Yes. So we don't want right. you doing that. No, please. Well, don't. the second one is we began to resent each other. I can see that. That I can see. Definitely see I that. I can see that, especially in in especially for um, newlyweds. You know, when you're first getting married and you get right past that newlywed yeah you know, right yeah. past you know, that lovey-dovey that love, when everything yeah. he said was, was oh funny, funny and <laughs> great and you're the bomb yes, boo and I, right it was all awesome and he had yeah. this little thing that he did with his mouth when he ate you thought that was cute <laughs> yeah 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 after a year you're like it's on your nerves man. yes you know He's you're like the you way that a... he eats his food yeah. Ugh, right yeah it's or, nasty yeah right. or, or he's you have to like sacrifice things that you used to be able not, to do, you yeah. know you used to have time to yourself all the time and now this man is here all the time yes. or the responsibilities you know, right. you know of financial issues yeah anything yeah. and you start resenting that right yeah. you know he's not bringing in the money and then you start thinking you know what i could have married tyrone <laughs> Paul, <laughs> tyrone right. didn't eat like this <laughs> And if you resent each other, that stuff happens. But right. it's when you resent each other and it festers and it just yes. kind of grows and it turns into really, um, what is that word? There is a, there was a, there was another study. This was something I had heard about a long time ago that when contempt enter, enters a marriage, that's when it's pretty much, it, it's, it's over because contempt means I'm, you make me sick. Right. Like I, wow. It's almost hate. You yeah. know, and resentment can really grow into something like it that. It can so really grow see, into something like I, yeah, that. Yeah, I can see that being a, a a reason or a precursor to cheating and right resentment. i was bored and unhappy i've definitely heard that one yeah I, see i would think that would be the number one yeah, uh, yeah i would think so too you know the yeah. boredom and unhappy because that's more common i would think yeah. you know just you, and people get into their regular routines and everything's you know, regular nobody's changing up anything right there's you no excitement date. He can't date. Right. right. So y'all are just looking at each other. Like, doing the same thing. About- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's the same. Dinner. Yeah. None. Right. We don't go anywhere anymore. We don't do yeah. anything. You don't that bring me any flowers. feeling you had in the beginning is kind of like, well, No sweet words or just right. a you know, hug and a kiss boring. in the middle of the day. The Rock gave you a restraining order, so you got 90 days at home <laughs> to do nothing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to do Denzel won't call you back. That's right. That's right. That's bored. Yeah, this bored. bored. Nothing to do. I can see that. <laughs> A girl and, to do. Right. <laughs> and then my husband was a workaholic. I can mm. that's, and that goes along with being bored and unhappy. It is. Think, yeah. You I mean, know, but I don't know if he's working. See, to me, that's sexy. Well, like, depends. I think that's sexy. Yes. Ah. A workaholic is extreme, though. I love that. That's extreme sexiness. You better get out there and work. <laughs> do your thing. You do know? your thing. I guess there is something about a man who, you know, Who's they're doing their hard. thing. They're, you yeah. Know, you see them in action. You yes. know about all the things that they're doing and you they have yeah. control. Be if you want to be with me and work a lot. I, I can love see that. that. But I know if you some men who me. use their job as an escape and they are, they're gone. And, uh, you know, they don't, right. they don't come home, you know, and they are gone 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night. And, you know, good and well, they got off at five. Right. And maybe that's not, maybe workaholic isn't the problem here, though. Yeah. No, workaholic. That's not workaholic. That's not <laughs> that's workaholic. Not that's not something else. Yeah. You know, yeah. 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 That's, that's cheating. Right. <laughs> right. That's this topic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. That's how we should end the Bringing show. it back around. That's a around. good cheating excuse. <laughs> 
let's not let's not promote that. <laughs> you know, but you know what it's we were fun. talking about? What's how far would you go? Mm-hmm. So what about like you know indecent proposals? Is that cheating? I mean, callers out there, if someone gave your spouse a million dollars, she's going basic instinct. It, it, that's a decent proposal. A decent proposal. Is it? Oh, that's <laughs> right. Oops, sorry. <laughs> she got her movies wrong. You know, <laughs> but you know, a million dollars to you know uh, let me have your wife let me have your husband for a million dollars would you do it is that cheating is a million dollars really that much money yes. it's a lot if I you don't have any yes. it's pretty sweet <laughs> yes it's a, a million dollars has a lot if you don't have any <laughs> for sorry some of your spouses out there <laughs> a million is overpaying that's right you could do some things with a million you got a budget that thing but you could do a lot with a million i don't know mm. you know let's do a lot let somebody give me a million dollars for my husband. I like a million dollars. You can have him. <laughs> you can have me. <laughs> we come as a twofer. Stop the Sony. Some folks would take it's you too up much. on that. For real. That's right. So, they will. You, you know, careful. sex is very open these next days. Week That's saying, right. Uh, I'm hoping somebody for might inbox sponsors. us <laughs> a million. You get two for one. Bogo. <laughs> Bo go with Dr. Sony. <laughs> I pro- well, our producer said that he wouldn't do it. No amount of money. You know, I thought man, because that's that money. What did you say? That love. Some things have to be more important than money. Some things, Some things have, have to be more important than money. Oh, the woman that he chooses sweet. to spend his life with is more important than money. Until Aww. somebody offers a million dollars, <laughs> until the bills start <laughs> rolling <laughs> in, until <laughs> that high maintenance woman want all the jewelry. But you know what we're talking Houses, about again, though. Cars. Remember, men have a much more difficult time with sex right. than women do. Right, and so that's true. We might be more, you know, open to it. Whereas a man, all he's going to visualize for the rest of his life is his wife. Is what that must have looked like, and that's fine because the rest of his life, I will be on a beach <laughs> in I my know, million, the million dollar dollars drawing inter- interest in the you bank. Can over, that's right. You can get over a lot <laughs> when you at the beach in a beautiful beach house. That's right. Can vacation at any time. Right. You get over now it. That's a, now that's a reminder of everything that's happening. Well, then, well, she just got to do some other things to get it off it's your a mind. Reminder of everything. Now, that means you have to pull out some different tricks. That's that's right. Just something Just some totally different. different. Yeah, like with him, it was nothing. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Hold yeah, on. Wants, Producer Roy can't mic. be quiet in this. <laughs> no, he can't really. Um, but no, because see, now you've got to wonder, especially if you do something new, he's going to be like, wait a minute. Did you do that for him? <laughs> it, that Y'all don't understand how a man's mind thinks. That's why I made the comment that I did that. Um, I just forgot what my comment was already that quick. Oh, yeah. Men don't share what they love. That's true. If if a man truly loves a woman, and and I know people talk about stuff, well, we got these swingers and they love each. Yeah, no, nah, that's a convenient relationship. Right. If 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 a man truly loves a woman, he is going to have a problem if she's with another man. That's why wow. it's so difficult for like like uh, Dr. Pam said with the study. That's why it's so difficult for men. To sh- they, you don't you don't share the things that you love. Men just don't do that. That's why they always want to know: is this mine? Is this mine? <laughs> okay, see, so I say all that now. <laughs> that <the> <laughs> Who you daddy? Who you- <laughs> see, I don't that's know. a problem with that. Yeah. Well, anyway, you are too much. <laughs> but my thing too is much, like, yes, Doctor Pam. Man, did she say is it mine? Is it mine? I, now, you Tell know, me it's I mine. I heard that's what happens sometimes. First of all, let me give man the man out there a tip about women. See, I need to write a book. You know, forget about think like a man. You need to think like a woman. Think like that's a right. Woman. Cause here's a tip for all the men out there: if she's doing whatever she's doing, she didn't learn it with you. <laughs> most likely whatever trick she's pulling out her bag she did not learn that with you and, and if she is that good at it she is practiced on somebody so you now are not the times, first one couple of so, times. but if she ain't all that good at it you might want to rest assured that you just might be yeah if she's not good at it then you probably are the first one or nobody else <laughs> wanted your woman so so you may want to consider me stating your question <laughs> i use a different question is it mine yes yeah, yours <laughs> right now <laughs> right right now is it mine right now <laughs> so it's funny that though that if men have different perceptions of cheating than women so we'll talk more about that and um while we're on break i want you to think about what's your price is <laughs> a million dollars yours mine is 60 dollars in a bag of cheetos all right i love cheetos come on dr Sony. all right 
Come on. <laughs> we will be right back. Call us 678-701-3738. The Dr. Diva Show. We'll be back. We're going to do this. Right here. Right here. Peace. Welcome back to the Dr. Diva Show. Sorry about that impromptu stuff we have going on. It's a lot that goes on behind the scenes here, people. Here. But welcome back. Uh, we are on Facebook, Dr. Divas. We are on Twitter, at Dr. Underscore Divas. You can call us. Please call us. We want to hear a male perspective if one's out there listening. 678 <laughs> 701-3738 and today's topic is intimacy, infidelity and instinct. Hello. Yes. yes. Can I say something about instinct real quick? Uh, one thing I, I I saw was here statistics say that 85% of women who feel their lover is cheating are correct. Wow. Instinct. <laughs> if you feel it, you might be wow. right. But you know what? That's true because I've had several of my women friends who have come to me saying, I think my boyfriend's cheating or I think mm -hmm. my husband's cheating. Myself and I being say, one okay, of them. So leave him. Well, <laughs> and then they'll she say, says, so leave him. Yeah, I'm like, so leave him. Or tell him. And right. they're like, well, I don't have proof. And I'm like, uh -huh. what do you need proof of? Your yeah, instinct is that. proof of not. Right. So what. You know, if he's not making you feel good, why would you be in a relationship that's making you Hello. feel like this? Hello. If the relationship is making you feel some type of way, right. it's not a good relationship. Good relationship. Whether no, he's cheating not. or not, right. whether it's you not. have proof or not, that's all you need. you're feeling like it, it, your relationship is making you feel insecure. Right. Mm. Hello. No, he's uh, producer Roy said, what if she's paranoid? Most of the time. 80, 90% of the time, women are not paranoid. Right. You've got those 10% of women who may be, but 90% of the time, as a woman, no. if you think something's happening, your is. gut instinct something's happening. And that happening. goes for there, men, too. If, if, if women were that paranoid, if women were that paranoid, you wouldn't see so many men doing the shootings. 
<laughs> or serial killers. Like if we walked around in this paranoid state, right? You would we think would that be doing that. We'd be do- we'd be going into a mall with a gun or going into a wow. theater with a gun. Yeah. We're not that paranoid. We're more devious than that. There is. Yeah, y'all, y'all We're slicker with our game. Stuff, <laughs> I, I don't oh, think women are that paranoid. No, I don't think so either. There are those that are out there, and those are that are out there are very vocal, but that does not speak for the majority mm-hmm. of women. By the any majority means. of women are right. Right. If, if you're in a relationship where you're feeling insecure for whatever reason, go with that. Well, the research says it. Eighty-five percent of women who feel their lover is cheating are correct, thereby saying it is not paranoia. <laughs> it wow. is it's cheating. You know, there's some merit behind that. So <laughs> fact checking, fact checking. <laughs> we fact check. We're not going to get him sold on that one. We are <laughs> Dr. Divas for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. I know. That's right. Moving on. But let me ask a question because what do you do? Because 85%, you just said mm-hmm. that the women are right. Right. So that means one of us in this room have come across that woman or that man that we have seen cheating right? yes. on our friend. Yes. <laughs> do we tell her hmm. or him? Do you tell your friend when you saw his woman or her man out with someone? Hmm. I would. I well, would. Okay, let me say this. I have, <laughs> and it has gotten me in trouble. So let me say that I, I would think twice before I do it, but I don't want that burden on me. So I'd have to figure out how... I go crazy. I think I would tell too because it is it weighs heavy for you to know something like that about your friend's boyfriend. It just weighs too heavy for me. My conscience, I'm like, man, I'm around my friend, and I'm like, oh, am I really being a true friend? I mean, I start to question my friendship to this person mm-hmm. because when I think of friendships, we we t- I would want her to tell me. Definitely tell know. me. I definitely would want to know. And so I think I would tell, even though I know sometimes I, I do understand the backlash that you get from it or the denial. And yes, it makes you mad, you know, but I think it would make me feel a whole lot better on the inside. I, you know what? Telling. It's funny. Because, I'm a tattletale. Yeah, I, I would want to be told and probably I already know. So yeah. in most situations, you probably wouldn't be telling the woman anything that's new or mm-hmm. that she hasn't already felt. But True. I have been burned yeah, with I have that. Too. I have been, I mean, friends that are closer than close. Right. But wow. I thought, you know, hey, I just want to let you know this is what's happened. And they went off over. on you. Friendship's over. Yep. Did she go off on you? She didn't go off. She just said, wow. You yeah. know, um, and then I didn't talk to her for almost two, three weeks. You think yeah. it's something that she already knew about? I don't know if she knew or not. I just didn't don't think she appreciated me telling her. Right. Um, even though I thought we were Friends. at that place. But yeah. and it's hard to know, you know, how somebody's gonna respond. I remember I was dating a guy and we had a couple friend like a friend couple that mm-hmm. we would go out with together and I found out that both of our guys we're messing around with girls. Wow. And I, you know, we're in this together. So I'm calling her up like, you know what I just found out about our guys? They're in on this together. They both, you know. <laughs> Sorry to laugh. I said, no, it's funny now. But I told her, <laughs> you know, and I tell I, her and she flipped out on me. And wow. And she, you know, she, you know, well, I just don't believe that. And she told her guy, she went straight to him, straight yeah. to him. Yeah. You know, well, this is what Dr. Pam, well, I wasn't a doctor at the time, but this is what Pam said. And his response, well, Pam is jealous of you. And of course she would say that. And I, I put it on my kids life that I you know and I'm like she he did that he said that about your children <laughs> the people would go through great lengths you know and they were done with me after that you know yeah both I've of them had, yeah wow. I've had several all of them actually were done with me yeah. after I told him that and of course they went back and asked the man and to me that was a slap in the face like I'm telling you I saw this <laughs> and then you're gonna go back and ask him did he do what I saw him do? right right and he, of course he's gonna say no what were you expecting <laughs> him to say and then you're gonna go on that right yeah. and then it's gonna happen again Again. Right. Yeah. And you know, at that point you've accepted it. The, the person has accepted it and they're in it. They're just, they're in it. But you know, yeah, there's definitely been backlash. And, and in that situation, I felt I was perfectly justified because we're, we all go out together, you know, but right. you just never know how people are going to respond. I, I, I've even had a friend tell me, well, I know we have an open marriage. Oh all right. God. Yeah. And then it's like gasp. Well, okay then. Well, well then he's doing exactly what you guys agreed to. What he's do. supposed to be yes. doing. Yes. Yes. So, so you should take comfort in knowing that he's taking that. And he's doing a good he's job. Doing it. It. He's doing <laughs> a very good job of it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I mean, is it cheating if it's an open relationship? Absolutely not. 
It's agreement. I don't think it's an so. Agreement. It's still a marriage. Yeah. I mean, it's just like asking is having two wives cheating. Well, not if everybody's agreed and they're on board. Right. You know? I don't know. A sister wife. Hmm. I've seen it on TV <laughs> and it seems to work. Somebody's cooking at night while the other person's taking care of the they kids. They got them on man. Tuesdays. I don't know. Oh. Uh, yeah, that, that's kind of weird. That's, yeah. that's weird. I, yeah. Well, it would weird me out I, too. You know, it's their, can't it's, share it's my man, each, not knowingly. It's their own, you know. It's, it's, I can't say it's weird. It's, it's what it well, is for them. Yeah, I'm not judging. I mean, if you're yeah, a sister wife, it is what you know, it is. do that. But Enjoy I'm just it, saying that it. if it's cheating, I mean, open relationships, swinging, that's too that much stuff. to juggle. Like I wouldn't want two, three, four husbands. I just that's too much. I, it's right. hard enough. It's hard to satisfy one. Ha- yes, I just. Oh yeah, I mean, really, because I just kind of want to lay there. Yeah. Sometimes. So, <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I just do. So I can't have two or three men because <laughs> all of them would be upset. I'd be cheated on by three men. <laughs> three, of, three of my boyfriends. They They'll would be, be cheating, cheating on me. All of them. <laughs> pretty bad when your when your lovers are cheating on you when yeah, your, that's when pretty your bad. side chick is cheating on that's, you that's pretty bad well, you know what's funny though is that you know as um cheating is becoming kind of i don't want to say it's normal or but it but it is it's happening more often um or it's being exposed more often there's websites out there now that actually expose cheaters so there are um and there's one in wow. particular where if a woman's husband is cheating on her he will she will expose the other woman and put the other woman on that site and call her a home record wow and and there's also sites to to persecute the husband as well, but to me that's dangerous because really like, if you're gonna put me out there on blast, you better you better be ding dong dang sure <laughs> I'm the one cheating. That's with your right. Husband. Even if I was, don't put I don't need to be on a website. No, but the thing is, is that because I have been called before by women, <laughs> you cheat on my man. You cheat. I don't even know your husband. What are you, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? Like, right. you know, they're getting all crazy. And I'm like, I have you. First of all, you probably got the wrong number. And then you, Stacy? No, ma'am. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, Thought ma'am. it was me. You know, this Stacy's number. No, Thought ma'am. It was no, me. it's not. Oh, so gosh. I can imagine somebody getting it wrong and right. putting it on the website. You know? Right. right. <laughs> Absolutely. Very yeah, embarrassing. Then that's slander and libel. Yes. And now we're, we're in a whole a different new realm, type so. of thing. But it's my thing is, why website. are you attacking the other woman? And you brought this up earlier today. You know, why are you attacking? the other woman she's not the one they had the commitment to you yeah um, most times she does not even know you exist go to the woman i've even heard people say well i don't listen to this singer or that singer because like like alicia keys or something right. oh yeah know. she's had some to backlash because, because of that because she <laughs> she's had, i mean I'm you like, can tell too to but music? i mean i think a lot of people just have not you know been responsive to Alicia Well, Keys. I don't like that. She Me. took so-and-so's right. husband. She, first of all, you can't take a man. Right. He That's goes right. willingly. He goes willingly. And if she was able to come in and swoop down and they start a relationship, that man had already left you. Right. You just didn't know it. That's he right. had already checked out of your relationship. That's right. So you didn't see the signs. Mm. But I'm like, why would you stop listening to <laughs> that? But then they're, you know, then they're playing R. Kelly. Right. <laughs> like, really? right. <laughs> just going. Yes. <laughs> well, we've got our social media buzzing. Um, um, we've got um, one of our listeners has just a male. He says, um, mind your business. You never know who who may be affected by exposing someone's partner like kids. You know, That's you don't true. know what's yeah. going on in their dynamic. You may be exposing somebody who's crazy and you may end up with a problem of your own. You know, That's true. stalking. So I think that's the point that this individual is making. That's a really good point, though. You know, that is a good point. That's a good point. I mean, mind your business. That don't get but what any... if you brought into the business? What if you're that other woman? Oh, a menage a trois. No, no, no. And you didn't know you were the other woman. Right. Not, oh, not, not, not intentional. <laughs> <laughs> that's another show. Yeah, that's another show. <laughs> oh, you said, you know, you brought Bring in, in do people. Not, do you not <laughs> doing the <a> business. <laughs> <laughs> do you not feel the obligation to tell the other woman if you realize, oh, dang, you know? It depends on how you do it. Right. I, you know, I can be classy. If you're doing it in a classy way and you want to go to the other woman and say, look, I have been cheating with your husband. If you found little stuff around the house, I'm admitting that it's me. Mm -hmm. I did not know he was married at the time. I have since ended the relationship, but you need to know that the man that you're with is this person. 
But if you're going to that woman just to be messy and you're <laughs> oh, like, yeah. I just want to let you know that I got your man. <laughs> We've been together for seven months. <laughs> Y'all think you going think str- you in a relationship. Yeah, you think he's yours. That, that's but pretty bad. But I don't I don't think I would go to the woman at all. Uh, I would just do my dealings with the with the guy because as the per well, as you stated, Dr. Pam, you just never know what you're walking into. You could mm-hmm. the person his wife could be deranged, well, you know, need to be. stalking you she far and information is readily accessible. I mean, if I google either one of you or you can probably google me and you know exactly where i am where i live everything so you know it just it's just a little bit more dangerous these days to it confront people you never i know. think you yeah never you never know. know when you have to know who you're dealing with right well you if you thought know. they were single you might not know who you're dealing Three with minutes. anyway yeah so. so what are some of the signs dr pam um that someone's well, been cheating i did a facebook poll a few months ago and just um and there's 13 we can post them to the site but i'll give you a few of them um number one was something just doesn't feel right right you know, if you're feeling that, just like Dr. Sony said, listen. Something, something. Uh, something, something. Keith Sweat, baby. Right. Pete, she's doing the Keith Sweat. <laughs> Love you don't it. See him on weekends or holidays, primetime evenings. Um, doesn't show up or call. Um, <laughs> um, there's certain places he, and I shouldn't just say he or she, but or she refuses yeah, he or to she. go, refuses to take you. Um, replaces quality time with extravagant gifts. Wow. Uh, makes outlandish promises that are never met. You know, just things like that. Time with family and friends is non-existent or limited. Mm. So those are just some things to think about. You and know? we can that also talk like a great relationship. That, <laughs> 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 no accountability. <laughs> but we're going to also talk about some steps to healing. If you've been cheating on, cheated on, you know, first you need to decide if the relationship is worth saving. Man, is that Negro worth it? Sorry, did I just you say need, that? Sorry. Is he read, worth it? Read my book too. You Go need ahead. to read Dr. Pam's book too. <laughs> Refocus. Rebuild. Relive. Relove. Relove. Yes. <laughs> Talk about the feelings and be willing to listen. If you're trying to, you know, actually heal from this, keep in mind that cheating is a symptom of a problem. Find out what the real problem is. Everybody needs to own up to it, take responsibility, forgive and forget if you're going to continue mm, on with that person. I think that's great. But um, Dr. Pam, you know, the, the relationship you just described where you don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to <laughs> do anything. And you get Sony, that is not attractive at all. <laughs> you Look at you. <laughs> I think that sounds... <laughs> All right. You well, just we described to... my next husband. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, follow us on Facebook if you want to continue the conversation. Uh, we are on uh, www.drdivashow.com and Facebook backslash Dr. D-O-C-T-O-R Divas. We are always happy to hear from you, so please inbox us. Yes, see yes. you on the next show. And if inbox you have a show Dr. topic Jesus. idea, please, please us inbox contact it. Contact us. Let us We'd know. love to hear from you. This is the Dr. Diva Show, and we want to wish you a great rest of the day. Don't cheat. Don't Just cheat. Just don't, do don't, don't do it. Don't do it. it. <laughs> I'm lonely.